Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. So today we're going to go thrifting. So as many of you know, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I try to do this at least twice a year to take a week off and just get away and have very little work going on on my end. Now I do have a little bit of behind the scenes going on, but this is my R&R &R and I also get to see Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing. We're going to be hanging out and um, yeah, just having a great time. So I'm really looking forward to some much needed rest. Fourth quarter was busy on eBay. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go thrifting together, but you're going to notice it's the more relaxed vibe. Not to say I won't be picking up stuff to sell for a profit on eBay. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We're going thrifting together. Oh, oh, do we love this? Yes, we do. What is this? $4.99. I'm going to pick this up, see if I can lift it with one hand. Okay, it's a little bit on the big side, but this is very cool. Looks to be a print. Robert, no, Richard, Richard somebody, scrunchy. <laughs> Good job, Richard scrunchy. I think it is just a print, pretty sure. But yep, I'm putting this in my cart. For 2023, I'm gonna buy everything. That's my goal. No, I'm only kidding. I'm not gonna think about that though. I'm pretty sure I'm buying that. It's gonna be a thing to ship, but I think somebody's gonna want that. Look at that face. All right, so they switched the shelves around. Oh, what? Please don't be broken. Is this like a little gift waiting for me? Oh, this is very cool. Definitely vintage, just a little wood box, $2.99. Okay, is this gonna be the special Goodwill today? Now Goodwill, this is Shillington, and they switched all of the shelves around. I'm not sure what the thinking is, but it'll make it a fun experience for me. Okay, so this is a shelf with a little diorama inside. Oh, this is cute, so cute. $6.99. It's going to be a little bit heavy to ship. Made in China. Do I want this? Hmm. Shipping is going to be high for this, but I think I'm going to take this anyway. Let's put that in there. Okay, so color tag for the day, I believe, is red. Let's see if I can do this with one hand without... All right. Uh, is red. So let's keep that in mind. Is this Holly Hobby? Yes, it is. Okay, don't know that anybody wants a Holly Hobby plaque. Very sweet. All right, so if you're new to my channel, I am Lavender Clothesline, and a lot of times I buy the ridiculous or things that other people aren't buying from thrift stores, all kinds of thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, auctions, anywhere where I can buy in low and sell high. Now all along, people have followed me because I pick up very unusual items. I used to live on Long Island, New York, and now I'm in Pennsylvania, and boy, is the picking good here. So if you have the freedom to move anywhere and you are a reseller, you definitely want to think about Pennsylvania because there are adorable things like this mouse something or another. What is this? I'm not sure what he is. At first I thought maybe he was the end to a bookend or a bookshelf because he, he's kind of wobbly on his own. I'm going to think about him. I don't know what he's used for. Leave a comment down below if you recognize what this is used for. Okay, we have a magazine rack. We have a ton of these in Pennsylvania. All right, today is Saturday. So I'm just going to be moseying along, a little bit slower pace than normal. This is adorable. I know Christmas is over, but $4.99. All right, I don't know that I'm gonna pick that up because this probably would not sell till next year. Now I do list holiday items all year long. I list summer in the winter and winter in the summer. None of that matters to me because I'm a long tail seller. What that means is that I pick up items and I list them and I just wait for them to sell. I'm in no rush. Okay, what else? 
I'm kind of liking that they switched the colors around. Although I don't really know what color this shelf is. They might be starting to sort this by types of items. Could that be? Because I'm not identifying what color this is. This whole aisle was just kitchenware, as I'm going to say. This vase is very unique. It does have a stamp on the bottom. It's like imprinted. Hmm, would anybody want a beautiful peacock vase? $3.99. I think I might leave that because it is an Asian style and these are a little bit harder to sell for me. Okay, and it appears that they are mixing the aisles. I really got used to everything separated by color. And I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm <laughs> game. Oh, look at this little bottle. Oh, that is quite pretty. Two's Company. I have heard of that company. And I'm not seeing a price on it, but I like this very much. Let's pull the stopper out. It doesn't seem to have damage. Yeah, we're going to put that in the... Oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. We have a chip. Darn. Darn that chip. It's quite big, too. It almost fooled me because it's in clear glass. That is a shame. Do I want this anyway? There's no price on it. I'm going to see what they want for this. I like it that much. And you know me. I normally don't buy or try not to buy chipped items. All right. We're putting that in the cart. <laughs> I have seen this before. Adorable. It's a wood look. Not really wood. $3.99. Oh, that's really cute. It's plastic. <laughs> I still think somebody's going to want this. It won't bring a high profit, but... I love a good pig face. Chicken and a cow. All right, that's going right in. I told you, Pennsylvania is good. Anybody want to come visit? I'll go thrifting with you. Okay, what is this? Three cherries on a platter. Do they do something? Do they open? Why do I like this? Okay, we also have a mouse something or another. I think this might have been, I was going to say a garlic keeper, but that's not right. All right, we're looking at these cherries. Why are there three cherries on a plate? $1.99. Tell me Goodwill priced every cherry separately. Okay, see the $1.99. $2.99. <laughs> oh, Goodwill, you're so ridiculous. Okay. $3.99. Looks spray painted. I don't know who would want to display three cherries on a plate with no purpose at all. But that is very well done and very unique. And I do not want to ship this. So this one I'm leaving behind could be a major mistake. And it's very heavy. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Now today is Saturday, like I said, and the store seems to be not as crowded as normal. Made in China, a little bookend. That is kind of nicely done. Is there another one? I do not see another one. Hmm. I'm going to leave that. What is this cake thing? Is missing a piece. Kind of cheaply made. Okay, two bookends. You guys know I love bookends, but I kind of look for brass or animals, uh, historical figures. What other kind of bookends do I like? I love the dog ones when it's like an Irish setter hunting. That's very fun. Okay, I thought these were cast iron. I think they're just a plastic. It's a little frog. Um, I'm going to say metal bowl holder. I think the price just fell off. Let's see what it says. $1.99. Put that back on. Hmm. I need a little bowl, though. I might put this in my cart and look for a little bowl to include with it. I think I like that idea. Okay. Hopefully the price stays on there. Wow. The items are very unique today. Okay. We have a camel. $3.99, a camel planter. This looks to be a mold maybe that somebody painted. Very well done. 
who would want a camel planter? Not quite sure. Okay, just what I don't want to ship is a rooster cookie jar. Cookie jars get broken so easily in shipping, no matter how well packed they are. And let's see if I can turn this upside down and see who's making this. Oh. Sakura Oneida. So this is Oneida Carter Brown. Looks like made in somewhere, China most likely. Five dollars. Okay, let me see if I can gently turn him right side up. Okay, he is kind of nice. Kind of a nice chicken. Oh, but you know what? The day that this sells and I wake up to having to ship it, <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna I'm gonna be feeling that. All right. So being on YouTube and just producing videos and putting so much work into this, sometimes I really have to be careful with what I pick up for shipping because I am running, it's like two businesses at once. I like this dish right here. It might be glass bake. Yeah, not marked at all. Kind of a pretty pattern. And we've got the cornflower blue in there also. Okay, so Roger is here with me today. He's on a different aisle. Right now he's sourcing clothing but he picks up a lot of games, so I'm going to bring him this and see what he thinks of it. Yahtzee, Texas Hold'em. I've never heard of that. Hopefully everything is there. We'll have to untape the box. And the box is in quite poor condition, but I'm gonna see if he wants that. Let's see if we can find something else to surprise him with. Now he does a lot of vintage games, and he also does common games that just sell through very quickly. Man has a lot of game knowledge. He's a gamer. <laughs> Therapy. I don't think he wants that one. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe to see if he wants it. Now I have learned a few of the things he picks up, but it, games is such a big category. Very hard to know and learn quickly. Oh, what is this? Risk Junior. It's kind of cute. All right, payday. So just because the game is vintage, I don't know that it necessarily means it's gonna sell. So far, I just see that one game. What is this? Oh, this looks old. Farm Lotto. I don't think he's gonna want that. Let's see, is this box open? It's not, they tape everything closed. I'm gonna bring this to him though. I think if nothing else, it's a good laugh. Okay, we're gonna take a quick peek at artwork. And I'm seeing this print back here. Looks to be a Tour de France print. George Angelini. I think that's what that says. Tour de France. This is probably uh, current. Hmm. Very hard to know when things are original, like an original print from the time it was created or if it was a reproduction. This is what the back looks like. Let me flip this frame around for us. As you can see, money put into the frame. Not a cheap frame. $6.99 for the print. It's mounted on foam board, like a heavy foam board. Now when I buy things like this, almost always I have to take them out of the frame. And it's a shame because these frames cost a lot of money. Seems to have like a non-glare UV piece of glass over it. Maybe. Hmm, do I want that for $6.99? Not knowing what year this was made. Okay, that's just dust. Huh, I'd really like to pick that up. But because I don't know the age of it, I might be leaving it behind. Which is sad. I could be missing out on great profit. But for me, there's no way to tell when this was made. So sadly, I'm leaving it behind. Lots of big clocks in thrift stores. That's kind of a cool one. Old Town Clock. With a cardboard back. Some prints that we see over and over again in the thrift store. Oop, this looks like an original chalk. I have a tendency to like chalk drawings when the profile is full on rather than a side profile. I don't know who that is. Very interesting. I would take this out of the frame. Hmm. I love when it's a chalk or any original that is very moody, big-eyed, very sullen, but she's just very stiff in my opinion. So I'm going to leave her. 
And like I said, I could be leaving like this thing that's gonna make me wealthy the rest of my life, but I have to use what judgment I have. Okay. I see something from Red Oak Gallery back here. We're gonna move things around a little bit and see if we can get to it. I see a lot of this type of stuff in thrift stores. Huh? There is an aerial view of somebody's town. Okay, I'm not thrilled with that. All that digging for nothing. All right, let's see if I can put this back without crashing anything. If I sold furniture, I would pick these up. Very well made. They do need to be reupholstered. And this is odd, the way this cushion sits in there. Looks very comfortable though for somebody's like lanai or sunroom. I think these are really high quality and you can see more of probably that household donated their items. Bar stools, let's see what they're getting for them. What does Goodwill want for them? 49, looks like it got marked down to 39.99, so $40. And there's swivel. This is a bamboo, that's a good deal. They seem to be in decent shape, three of them. But I'm not really in the market for big heavy furniture at this point, you never know. Up, oh, they're sold. So that is good. Copper items always capture my attention. This one is a hammered copper, but I don't believe this is solid copper. This is probably copper sprayed, made in India. Yeah, kind of pretty. I look for the old copper, the solid copper. It has more of a burnished look. This looks like it is just flesh painted over it and you can see it where it is scratched that it has lost the color. Kind of pretty, pretty shape, an urn vase, but I'm going to leave that one. The copper made in the United States, the old copper, is just so beautiful. I don't even try to clean it when I find it and sell it. I just sell it with the patina on it. Okay, lots of wreaths. Hey, Lee, do you want any of these wreaths? <laughs> if you wonder who I'm talking to, it's my daughter who edits these videos. We were on the phone this morning and she needed a new wreath for her front door to deconstruct and make another wreath out of. I'll have to shoot her a text. All right, is that it? Did we finish the aisles? I don't even know. I've been down the cherries aisle. This is still Christmas. I don't think I'm gonna look at Christmas, although look at these ornaments. How long did that last? Like half a second. Okay, Bethlehem glass. Boy, those are pretty. They look to have some age to them. $1.99. I just don't want to be picking up ornaments right after Christmas. I did sell a lot of ornaments. A lot of it was Hallmark this year, which was surprising. Okay, lots of Christmas. Oh, these are cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are really cute. Shelf setters. Oy, look how detailed they are. How much are you, little shelf sitter? $2.99. Will that stay? That probably won't stay. I'll put it back on the cheek. Oh, these are really well done. Okay, let's see if there's a branding on them. Nope, I see something on the bottom there. Teal toys. Hmm. Kind of like rabbits. This would kind of bring you from Christmas into Easter. You'd have all the bases covered. A velvet stuffed tree. Oh, it's a musical too. Hmm, okay. Like I said, I don't think I'm doing Christmas, but you have to look, right? Okay, I think I'm chasing Roger. He keeps walking down different aisles. Look what I got you, sweetie. Oh, nice. <laughs> Farm Lotto, have you ever sold that before? No. <laughs> Do you want to sell it? No. <laughs> oh, no. And have you ever seen Yahtzee Texas Hold'em? I actually had one. You did? Did it sell? Uh, I don't think it sold yet. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had it? <laughs> Too long. <laughs> okay, so both of these are now yeah, Texas Hold'em. I have to look in my company. That's cheap. $1.99. Sounds like there's pieces in it. I forgot they close at 5 today. They do. Yeah. Well, is it five on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? New I thought it was New Year's Day. Both? Today and tomorrow. Oh, 
Oh, no okay. Way. Well, we better pick up the speed. Oh, I just got a bunch of craziness. What did you find? Oh, a couple of these are nice. Brand new. Well, that is nice. What are they getting for that? Five ninety nine. What size is that? Let's see the tag. Extra large, tall. Nice, especially when it's tall. I mean, it's kind of the newer tag, but it's got that. Yeah, I mean, nobody would wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now you will you call that newer tags or new without tags? I would probably newer. call. Probably new without. With tags. yeah, because nobody would wear it with a sticker. It's the same thing. Oh, two of them. Okay, yeah, I like that one too. I don't know about this one. It's got newer tags. Tommy Bahama. Look at those buttons. Okay. I don't know, but it doesn't really... It just has the thing on the side there. So yeah, know, there's no nothing. big logo. Yeah. We love a big logo on a shirt. It's nothing... Yeah, it's kind of plain, you're saying? great. Yeah, some normal stuff. All the normal stuff. Yeah. Oh, what's the Adidas? Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh yeah, those are good. Okay. Is this vintage? I don't know my Adidas labels, do you? No. Okay. Some, well, sometimes it should have the year on it. Really? Adidas puts their year? Yeah, on, the little, on that little tag. But okay. It. Yeah, those are I'm definitely sure good. They almost have like a little bit of a wet look or chilly. chilly. 62. What does that mean? Soccer? It might, it might be, yeah. Oh, was I right? <laughs> <laughs> Zip ankles. I we always include are, that in our title. Okay. Just all the normal stuff? Yeah, the normal stuff. Okay. You don't want to get a cart? <laughs> <laughs> Roger never grabs a cart when he comes in. And what's nice the thinking stuff. of why you don't grab a cart? <laughs> I don't know. You think you're just getting in and getting out? Yeah. <laughs> These are nice. Stuff. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Yeah. A red tag for $2. Or oh. Half of that. Three, like three. Sixty. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to do the math. Three sixty-five. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That's new. Brand new. This is children's Children. or youth. Yep. Ten, twelve. I'm not sure. Okay, we're on the fence about it. I think you do okay with that. It's lined with fleece. Seeing that it's brand, Little fleece. brand new. Do they have fleece throughout the whole thing? They do. Yeah, I, I would get this. Cool. Yeah, for a fleece lined yeah. one. And last one is, you didn't know I was going to make you do a clothing haul right. right here on the aisle. That's Penn State, Penn State Nike. Nike. Now this seems like it's off color. Was it made this color? No. It doesn't color. seem, like see the white item yeah, behind it? This seems color. very... Yeah, I don't maybe I want it though. You could do OxyClean if it's I worth... A yeah, you can share mine. <laughs> <laughs> what a good one, girlfriend one I am. One more. That one's nice. Oh, that's really nice. That's women's, isn't it? I think so. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. How much you want for it? Size medium. <laughs> it that's looks nice. New, though. Yeah, that does look, yeah, it's crispy. Yeah. Looks like it's in great shape. All right, that's what we got so far. So both my game choices are no good. I'll never learn games. And that's what I've got in my cart so far. But I'm gonna go look at clothing. Now I'm on to the clothing section. I try to pick up probably about 100 pieces a week. Here is a Chico's two, which is I think a size 10. Don't quote me on that. An eight, a 10, I should know this. Okay, it is a sweater, beautiful open front cardigan. And what do they want for this? $6, good buy in price. And this is Old Navy, believe it or not, $5. Now, generally, I really don't pick up Old Navy, but look at the print on this, like an Aztec, Southwestern, gorgeous condition. And if it doesn't sell, I can always wear it. <laughs> Size medium. So those two basics, I will always pick up stuff like that. Like I said, Old Navy is not really high on my list, and it does bring down the price that I can charge for it. So I'm thinking $5 minus a percentage off trying to think of what that is 10% today and it's probably gonna bring 16 to 18 and the Chico's might get a little bit more I also found Sorel boots I like these because they're slip-on I think a lot of people appreciate that when you have to like bring out the garbage and all the household chores and you need to put shoes on and off and they're charging $12. I will look up the Sorel boots because I think Sorel might have been sold in other stores, not Costco, but maybe some discount stores. So I want to make sure that these are the Sorels that, you know, were sold from Sorel either online or the in-person stores. All right, so that's the beginning. We have two sweaters both going in the cart. 
and I don't always go by brand. Okay, so we're just about to check out. This is what our cart looks like combined, all the normal craziness. And I said, oh, I just want to go down linens before we leave because we're going on to another store. And Roger spotted this. Got a good eye, sweetie. Longer burger. So this is the valance to the shower curtain set. How did you even spot? What made you look at this? I'm not sure. I just That's I think good I saw though. That. You have a good eye. Longer burger. It's the shower curtain. This set will probably bring, I'm guessing, $40 maybe. And what are they asking for it? Oh, I see the tag. We see the tag. $2.99. <laughs> so okay, my guy picks out shower curtains. <laughs> hey, but he makes good money for, on this it. This is for you. Oh, this is <laughs> You're not going to own up to, yeah. to buying a shower curtain. <laughs> Come on, admit it. <laughs> you want it. I pretty much sell anything. Yeah, we both do, right? We have no pride. None. <laughs> All right, so this is going in the cart. Uh, it's got a little bit of, see this? Looks like it might have mildew. We should check this. Because if it was in a mildewy bathroom, you're not going to get that out. Open this up, sweetie, so we can see this. All right, guys, we're going to head on to another store. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours. Look where we are, guys. Liberty Ministries Thrift. I brought you here for the first time last Monday, and today is Saturday, and I was telling Roger how good this store is. Are you excited? <laughs> I, I am excited. I was never here. <laughs> It looks like crowded. 75% off Christmas. 75, okay. And what time do they close today? So today is New Year's Eve, 5 p.m. All right, let's see what we can find. Okay, so last time I brought you here, I don't know that I really looked at jewelry. I was so distracted by hard goods. So they do have jewelry, they have a case. And quite a few items back there. Ooh. I don't know if this is auction or you can purchase this. I do like that dish right there and the tall piece. Very Art Nouveau. I'm gonna take a look at that. Find out what the price is. So it seems to be like what they consider the nicer items. These are very nice. Looking for a price on them. Don't see a price, oh, that's the price, 30. Those are really nice. I am looking for if there is a color tag sale going on. I do see a clearance rack, quite a bit of furniture, and I know 75 off of Christmas. 185, boy, that's a gorgeous trunk. One time I learned that the trunks were made with this domed top so that they couldn't be stacked on the steamer ships. I think this is very beautiful. Let's see if I can get this open. That's what it looks like inside. I think 185 is a fair price. And I do like the mission of this store very much. This store's purpose is to help people that had been incarcerated and just help them start a new life. I really like that. Look at this beaded pillow. Oh my, this is gorgeous. This whole thing is beaded. $3.99. Wow, that's nice. Looks to be in fairly clean condition. This is Pier 1. Might have a little bit of staining or mildew stain. I'm not sure. Darn. I wonder if I soak this. You can remove it. If I cleaned this and just did a gentle soaking, Hmm. I'm seeing this spotting over a lot of the pillow. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's too far gone. Boy, that's disappointing. Somebody must have stored it in a garage or just had a very, a very moist house. Goodbye, pillow. So sad. All right, we're gonna go up and down the aisles together because I had such a great time here last time. Oh, this is gonna be 75% off. We love a good sale, don't we? Okay, now, like I said, the store is very crowded, so I'm gonna try my best to just keep the camera down. Okay, this is Home Essentials. 
pretty red. Okay, and the dish that you guys were all telling me to pick up is still here, $1.99. And I did say it has a slight chip, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it and see how it does. So thank you to everybody who commented about this. And I will put on the screen what this bowl is called. Two shelves down, look at this tray. $2.99, looks like they just put this out. This is stunningly beautiful. Oh, and it's signed. Somebody made this. Let's see if I can turn this around for us. Oh, just lovely. Great condition. I am over the moon thrilled for this piece. I might even keep this. Yep, it's that good. All right, let's put this in the cart. I'll try to be really careful and not break it. Stay. It's a pretty little jewelry box, $9.99. Nice condition. Let's take a look at what it looks like inside. Okay, I like it, but I don't think it's anything all that original, all that special for $10. Wow, that's quite the statue. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. I <laughs> made out of plastic, unfortunately. It's got a break. Kind of cool though. Another little wooden box. Okay, look at this coat or hat rack hook. Not really a rack. Is that a black lab? Where he's got a little injury on his nose. $2.99, quite heavy. Oh, he's so cute, I have to get him. Look at the little bow tie. Is that not adorable? Seems to be okay, no chips that I'm noticing. So we're gonna put him right here. Okay, we turned the aisle. This is quite interesting. A rainbow with a pot of gold bank. $2.99, I kinda like this. I'm not quite sure why. Very vintage, just, I don't know. Reminds me of the 70s, but look at those colors. I think this is pretty good. And it does have its stopper, so that's always nice. I don't see a brand or any kind of maker on it, but we're gonna definitely put that in the cart. I feel like this store has so much more to look at than some of the other stores. 550. Okay, I guess it is a napkin holder with a little uh, metal plate. It's funny, their pricing sometimes, I'm not sure why they're pricing some things higher than others. This is a very heavy glass bowl. 350. Satin glass. Definitely vintage. See again guys, I don't know my glass, so that could be a really good pickup and I'm not sure who's making that. I need things to be marked so I can learn learn about them. Okay, I think this might be something like a Mayan calendar. What what does it say? Or I could read the back. <laughs> Okay, very interesting. 350. I don't know that I want that. That's not pretty. I want all the pretty things. Here's a candle holder that's quite nice. Good weight to it. Oh, just from Marshalls. Still nice. 299. That's quite nice. What is this? Very heavy piece of glass. It's got like a cobalt bluish purple inside and then this green spotted design running up. This is all blown in the glass. Lovely. 475, boy, this thing is heavy. I don't see any chips, no chips on it. 475, we're definitely gonna put that in the cart. I'm telling you guys, this is the place to shop. If you're looking for hard goods, look how good this stuff is. Oh, I like this little bowl here. How pretty is that? That is really pretty. Five dollars. Hmm, do I want this? Let's see the marking on it. Let me turn it around if I can without dropping it. Okay, so this is Haviland. And I'm noticing a little bit of a chip there. And a chip there. Darn, very pretty. Oh, this is a pretty design. 
I don't know that company, but it's made in England. Bresham. Is that what that says? Four dollars. If this had the top, I would probably get this. Quite lovely. Not sure what you'd bake in there. Like a like a spinach souffle would be lovely. I love spinach souffle. Okay, again it has loud music. For those of you wondering why I talk through my whole video, it is to cover up the music because the music is copyrighted and it gives a strike on your YouTube account. All right, what's down this aisle? Oh, clear glass. Abort, abort. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. Okay, look at this cookie jar with the silver banding. I don't know who this is. A lot of times the clear glass is not marked. $13. What else do we see here? Quite a few clear glass pieces. Oh, what are these little guys sitting here? Oh, this is cute. Two little cats, 75 cents, uh, with green eyes, and they're chained together. Are they in good shape? They seem to be. Would you like to come home, kitties, and be resold? They say yes. Okay, putting them in my cart. We'll put you right in the bowl here. No matter how much I tell myself I'm not getting canisters or cookie jars, I always wind up looking at them. This is Certified International. I see so much of this brand, but I have to say, I often reach for it. Look how pretty that is. $2.99 for the littlest. $3.99, I imagine this is $4.99. Too much to ship at this point, too much angst, but boy, is this a pretty one. Beautiful set. Okay. I think that's about it for this store. I haven't looked at furniture. Wow, this is very heavy. I'm trying to learn the difference between bronze and a heavy uh, casted brass, I think it is. $2.99. Would anybody want this for $2.99? It is a golfer on a green onyx base or green marble base. Not signed, so I wouldn't know but I've been watching YouTube videos on um, beautiful bronze pieces, how to tell bronze, and I don't know if I'm learning anything, but I'm trying. He's kind of cold, but very old fashioned. It's almost like an award, you know? That should be the award for the best golfer. <laughs> I should give that to Roger. Let's do that. Let's give it to him and see what he thinks. Is this real driftwood? Oh, it might be. The dolphins. Okay, I do like this. Is this all in good shape? I don't know what the dolphins are made out of. I think this is real driftwood. Ah, uh, plastic. So this might be plastic too. Hmm, $2.99. Oh, the struggles are real. I might pick this up for $2.99. Something about it is quite well done. Very pretty. All right, so we're going to put this guy in the cart right there. Look how pretty my cart is few things but I'm really happy with this stuff so lots of furniture it seems like a lot going out and coming in and what's wonderful about um, Liberty Thrift is that if you have furniture that you would like to donate and it's in good gently used condition they will come pick it up for free which is such a good service because sometimes we have things that we're done with and if it's a big piece it is very hard to get it to the store so that is a great service look at this table wow it's on wheels we all know i love wheels 55 dollars does need to be refinished a little bit and the base has some cracking but boy is that a pretty one look at the lion claw feet it's genuinely old. I think this is Burlwood, B-U-R-L. Really lovely. And I love that it's on wheels. Okay, I think that finishes this store for me today. I am on to another store. Trying to get to as many stores as I can to film videos for you guys so that when I'm away on vacation, you have something to watch from my channel. And again, this is Liberty Thrift. I believe it's Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania. Once again, I will leave the information in the show's notes in case you want to come check out the store for yourselves. Lots of furniture, lots of clothing, and a lot of beautiful pieces. And I have lost Roger. Does anybody see Roger? 
Usually he's easy to spot because he's got such beautiful hair. I don't see him. We are just having the best time ever thrifting together. Hmm, where is my guy? Don't see him. Where did you go? Okay, I'm gonna have to get serious because he gave me the high sign about 15 minutes ago that I had 15 minutes and time is up. So now I just have to find where he is. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.